Okay, shriveled vein. I was getting tired of waiting, you lost bastards! Lost? No, we're... So, have you come to take the head of me, the Overlord of Bloodpot, Logan? You overwhelmed me with numbers in the previous battle, but it's not gonna be that easy for you this time! Even though I've gotten long in the tooth, and I'm wounded all over, I was once the feared throwing overlord, and I'm still sharp! Lift and throw! Lift and throw! Lift and then throw! Well, how is that? I've reached my limit, brother. He's out of breath before the battle even starts. Looks like this is all a big misunderstanding, but I doubt he's gonna let us leave without a fight. Oh, Sir Kilia, you're eating again? Acting so casual before fighting an overlord. Now that is my Sir Kilia for you. This is a great opportunity. I'll teach you all about lifting and throwing. Yeah, so it's definitely Hulk Hogan. View the lifting and tutorial throw. No! I didn't even word that right. Alright. Monsters can't perform the lift command. Does that mean we don't have a future? <laughs> don't worry, monsters have their own specialties. Hmm. Let's see. Instead of lift, monsters have Montas. Unlike throw, the destination of a Montas is set for you. You won't be able to hold the humanoid up, so be careful. So you get Montas, alright. I'll do some tossing, dude! I'll put it on top of an ally monster. The monster will perform a receive. Receive, dude? When a receive happens, the monster will bounce the unit in the direction it's facing, equal to its throw range. Also, unlike throwing, receiving doesn't count as an action for the monster. By using this effectively, you can throw a character really far. That's amazing! Seems like our future is looking bright, dude! However, prinnies who are tossed by Montas will explode. Be careful. Already figured that one out. Okay, so first and foremost, Grand Slam Man! Move! We are going places. We're going right there. Okay, next up, we are going to... Move Seraphina out here. We'll summon Kilia. Lift. Yeah. Kilia. Throw. Yeah. What? Fucking Grand Slam Man, what are you doing here? What job do you even perform? Why'd you throw him backwards? Oh, probably because the uh Leave it to me. The tile was taken. Well that's dumb. Alright, fine. You're tall. Screw it. Wait. What? Not gonna lie, that's not exactly what I expected to happen there. Uh... Potato. Um... I have done nothing... ...but dumb things. But it's exciting nonetheless. Oh, the direction they're facing. But if he's looking at a wall. Okay, that's what I messed up. Oh, well, well let's just put Death Santa on top of this barrel. I don't even care. We'll have the uh, we'll have the lower lower group ready ready and raring to fight. Why is she so much faster than everything else? I don't even know. Weird maid person. Only person that actually gets to attack here because I don't I just learned. Oh, oh, he had a bow so you could counterattack. Andy. All right, uh, end turn. This is going to. This is only going to end up weirdly. What is it? Ow. No! What is it? Yes. Ow. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, that hurt a lot. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to move over here. We're beating up that treasure chest. I don't even care. Uh, if she gets smacked around a bit. Uh, SP used. Yes, heal. And you. Can I throw enemies still in this game? I can. 
Eh, whatever. Let's not do it. Let's just beat him up. Uh, let's see. What else can we do here? It's been a long time since I've, I've played a Disgaea game, so I'm still wor working through the, like, internal tactics in my head. Oh, come on. At least we can undo our, our attacks. Unlike, or, our, undo our moves, unlike some other games that I've played recently. Please let me attack up here. Yes! Okay. Now, she's already done her attack. She's... He's good. Okay. Oh, well, this dude's called Nobunaga. I dig it. And we get Prinnies. I don't remember if Prinnies actually give, like, a bonus to uh, the number of attacks they can put out. Well, whatever. Execute. Replica sword obtained. How much heal is that? That is a substantial amount of heal. Oh, jeez. He just goes straight down. All right. Works for me. Combo meter is going to be a tough thing to fill, though. I'm probably going to have to take off everybody's weapons and then go from there. Oh, well, not the end of the world. How is he injured? I actually don't know how he's injured. Oh! Nope, I have no, no idea. Alright, end turn. Are these guys just, like, not? Alright, well, you know what? I ain't gonna complain. You know what? I'll have her lift. Here I am. Throw. A what? Yeah. Still not far enough, apparently. Uh, I guess I'll just defend. Uh, let's see. This is probably going to be too far of a walk. I assume I can't do much about these boxes here on the lower side of things. Well, I mean, I could always just chuck Grand Slam Man and see what happens. Grand Slam Man, you're the real MVP. Oh, that takes out the boxes. Well, sayonara, Grand Slam Man. You were a real wizard. I believed in you and stuff. Okay. Wait, you can pick different voices for the warriors? Oh, I didn't realize that. All right. I'm still learning a lot about this game. It's been a long time since I've played... It's been a long time since I've played a uh, Disgaea game, so go figure if I'm not going to make the uh, best of decisions along the way. Here's the question. Oh, wow, she can make it up there. Perfect. Fortunately, Grand Slam Man is uh, quite dead. Oh, well. Can you make the... Can't make the move. That's fine. She can. Note to self, buy boots for everybody. Buy possibly multiple boots. Wait. Oh, I see. It was lit up red for Ryoko. Okay. I'm going to try something. I'm not sure if this will work. Special fire... Okay. Oh. Gonna move one this way. Just in case it blows up on me. I can't do that. Okay, fine. He'll get more range as we learn how to... There we go. I don't know if the barrel's going to explode. Which is a bit of a concern. Let's just go with the heal. Okay. That's the extent of what I can do. Now, if I do end turn, will they all commit? Yeah, they will. Whoops. Are you ready? Apparently, I shot the wrong man. Whoops. You lose. Let's see, does hitting environmental items give a bonus, maybe? I don't know, but it looks like it gave him a skill up, so I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, different personalities is determine the character's voice. <laughs> Good to know. Okay, well, looks like your skill level went up. For that was the fire attack, right? Yeah, by using your skills, you will gain experience points with them. When you get enough experience points, your skills will level up. When you your skill level increases, the SP cost to use them will dis decrease. Even if the skill costs a lot of SP to use, you can increase its level to lower the SP cost. Use skills aggressively to try and level them up. Hence why I'm using... Hey? What is it? I'm just going to stay in the back for a little bit. Yay! Whoops. Skip the demo. Hell no. <laughs> Note to self, don't attack allies. You! Let me tell you something, brother. This ain't over. The lost have taken everything from me, but I still have my pride as an overlord, dude. I, Logan, the throwing overlord, shall exact my revenge against you someday, dude. You better believe it. 
brother. Looks like he was just one more victim of the lost. That concludes the basics of battle. You did well for your first time. You should be just fine without me. All right, looks like this is goodbye. No, you are mine, Sir Kilia. Wherever you go, even if you go to the ends of Celestia, I shall follow you. How do you figure? Your objective is to defeat Demon Emperor Void Dark, correct? My objective is to erase Void Dark and rupture the marriage of convenience that my father decided upon on his own. Which means we are both in the same boat. We both seek to defeat Void Dark. No, it's more like we're husband and wife. How did you jump to that conclusion? Well, maybe not husband and wife, but we do share the same objective. So don't you think it'd be more efficient to work together? I can't see how working with someone who has no fighting experience would be efficient. I will make sure I never drag you down. So please, Sir Kilia, let me stay by your side. What you're saying and what you're doing are pretty contradictory, don't you think? <laughs> well, that's because I'm a demon! Kelio, we can now use the quest shop, dude. The quest shop is now open. There are already a lot of quests from many different nether worlds. Does anyone want to handle these? Anyone? Please? All right. Oh, man. It looks so busy, dude. Kelio, you need to hurry up and help them. Aren't you guys going to help? No, dude. It's better that you... Better to leave these jobs to skillful people like you. I mean, we're prinnies, dude. Ha, <laughs> look at this quest, dude. Um, discover Kilia's weakness. The reward is one million sardines. I'll do it, dude! Leave it to us! <laughs> Kilia! Can we now use the request form, dude? Alright, so we can talk to Kilia. Now, unfortunately, because I killed Kilia, A, I have to go pay you to heal her. Um, but I think there's a, there's a limit, uh, to the number of, like, ally kills you can get along the way. Uh, and if you, like, kill too many allies, you actually can't get the good ending. Let's fix you up. Uh, let's see. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I, I'm, I'm loath to do this. We're actually gonna load back to the previous save. I, I'm going to be very, very... I'm gonna be very particular about this. We're gonna quickly blaze through the last battle really fast. Because I don't want to get my hands on, uh... I, I don't want to get the bad ending. Where would you like to go, dude? And it's be a pain in the ass to play through the entire game a second time around. So, Blood Park, Shrivel Vein, Enter Stage. And I can just, uh, skip past everything. Scum! Yes! Shut up! Just triangle your way through everything. Oh, crap. All right. Okay, good. You can just skip past it. Good! You can skip past everything, really. Yeah! Alright, kill ya. So if we move Kilia up here, it's Seraphinia, move first, lift, yeah. Kilia, throw. Yeah. All right. I think we'll actually have uh, we'll have this under wraps this time around as opposed yeah. to just screwing it up poorly. Okay, special fire. Duh, yes. One, two, attack, rob. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, we'll have Death Santa move out. We'll have Death Santa probably just cast yeah. healing spells. Regardless of whether or not anybody needs any healing, just for skill ups, and she has plenty of SP, even Leave though it to me. Death Axes is totally a dude. Uh, let's see. Let's move over here. I don't think. I don't think uh, Grand Slam Man can do the like normal attack, but he can do Magic Attack Montos. Let's do. Let's throw Mo Axes up here. I don't actually know if that works. Like, I don't know if it does damage or anything like that. Oh well. And we'll have Ryoko toss Seraphina up. Okay. So, ideally, this will never happen again, but I need to pay more attention when attacking. So, let's, uh... I guess let's end turn. Wow, that was meaningless. Unfortunately, enemies don't have a whole lot of HP, so working on the combo right now is kind of meaningless. Counter, 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 counter? Pardon? Never seen that before. All right. Well, let's just have him go up here and go for the go for the treasure chest. Might as well get the sword as we're here. 
Okay, and I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to shoot these guys from here. I'll give it a go. Hey, we actually can hit them. I don't know what our range is. Uh, apparently it's long. It's per apparently it's like hella long. Okay, so let's see. Let's do magic, magic change, death Santa. Hey. What? Well, this is not what I want to do. When a monster becomes a weapon for a humanoid, during magic change, the humanoid will be able to use the monster's evil teas. Gaining the use of evil teas is a huge bonus, but don't forget about Brittany's evil tea. We'll make them explode. Also, during a magic change, you will be able to use special magic change skills. The EXP you earn for defeating an enemy is evenly distributed to both characters. Magic chain only lasts for three turns. Okay. That's interesting. I don't... I did not expect that. I'm gonna be totally honest here. Hello. Oh, well. uh, let's see. Can I lift... I, oh, I can lift Death Santa, and then I'm going to throw Death Santa behind this guy. There we go. Oh. Well. Does that count as an ally kill? I don't think that does. Okay, I'm just going to assume that's good enough. I hope not. Oh, uh, well. We have made a mistake. We have made many. That's, uh... Okay, let's just let's just back him up. Let's move him over here. Let's blow up a barrel. I don't think that counts as an ally kill. D as anybody anybody playing a disguise game know if that counts as a uh, as an ally kill? Because I don't know. Okay, skill level up. We know about this one. Cool. Yeah, because it's been so long since I've played a Disgaea game that I I really have no idea. Okay, don't think it... Uh, it counts because he explained it. Okay, that's good. Yeah, because I... I have no idea. It's been... it's been so long, kind of... ends up... ah, whatever. Okay. Let's not do that. Let's have him move down. And give... I was gonna call Kilia Laharl. They're designed so similarly that I, I figured I, I keep assuming that they're same they're the same dude. They are not. Not in the slightest. I love the magic change system though. I've never seen that before and it looks really cool. I can't wait to use it uh, more often. I don't know if he's gonna be able to cast magic from here. Can't. Oh, is he out of SP? Is out of SP anyway. Okay. Oh, you can use your you can use your Staff for a ranged attack now. That's nice. Not as ranged as the other way, but whatever. Okay, end turn. Let me thank you. Oh, he got triple strike. He's his weapon mastery skills gone up. All right, that works. Okay. Yeah, evil tea is their attributes, not skills. So the Prudney's evil tea is an explosive. Yeah, I figured that much. I just didn't know if that counted as an ally kill. You okay? Because that's the, that's the question. Yes, skip. Okay, it counted in one, but didn't in two, three, or four of the remakes. Okay, thank you, Koruru. I'm just going to assume that's, uh, that we're good. Okay, cool. Throwing printies does not count as an ally kill. Thank you, guys. Yeah, because I would like to get the, uh, I would like to get the good ending, because I don't want to spend all of my time going through the game again, just to get the right, uh, right and proper ending in the very end of the game. So... Assuming we're good to go. Yep, we are good to go. Saving complete. And I've got everything going. Yeah! Oh! Circle is also jump. So we should probably talk to Serafina first. Wow, is it really jerky when I transition stages? Did that make it in the footage? I gotta check something quick, guys. Because if that's, like, a consistent problem, obviously. That's not a good thing.
Okay, it's weird. It's just in the streaming and preview stuff. Alright. Well, I don't have to worry about that too much. Okay. Sir Kilia, you don't know anything. You can ask for, uh, ask for more than to be allowed to be by the side of the wealthiest and most beautiful woman in the universe. Why am I getting yelled at? <sighs> I suppose I must show you how fortunate you are, Sir Kilia. Prene! Did you call me Madame Serafina, dude? Aren't you happy that you became my servant? Of course, every day is simply a repeti repetition of regrets, dude. <laughs> Next! What's up, dude? Answer truthfully. Aren't you happy to be serving me? That's a funny joke, dude. Next! And so, after one after another, the prinnies became flowers scattered across the battlefield. <laughs> I love it. Next one up. About the battle. Oh, is something bothering you? Was that really your first fight ever? Of course, it's true. I make the printies carry anything that's heavier than a cake. Taking that into consideration, you handle those pistols pretty well. Whatever. For the upcoming battles, you should gain experience so that you can protect yourself. Oh! There's no need to worry. I've already got that covered. I've already reached the master level when it comes to combat. What kind of joke is that? Madame Serafina, take this, dude. Too easy. <laughs> dude. What do you think, Sir Kelia? How's my progress? Let's leave your progress aside for now. That pretty pretty looks to be unconscious. Worry not. I hit it with the back of my sword. Hit it with the back of my sword? With a gun? That's master level in its own way. Okay, let's pick up a quest. If I can. Oh, oh, they're not on top of the weapons. I was confused about that one. Oh, wait. You're going to accept a quest. Oh, dude, it's totally the Negama voice actor, too. Okay, if you complete a quest, you'll get a nice reward. So please complete a lot of them. Except oh, God. Whew. So... We get a bunch of side quests here that let us recruit new classes, get a bunch of items, uh, get money, braggart. Jeez, there's a lot. Alright. Uh, well, we might as well start with the first one. Combat Lecture. You can say that Madame Serafina is extremely new at combat, dude. I'm sorry, Sir Kelia, but please teach Madame Serafina how to fight. We beg you, dude. Sincerely, Serafina's pretty servant. Accept this quest. Yes. Oh, geez, we can get all of them. All right, ceiling specialist. Eh, no, let's do them in order so I can read them before. So how do we... Bang. Oh, there we go. There. Okay. So how do we review quests? Maybe we get to it via the dimension door. That's probably the more likely one. You can do more than one at a time. I, I know I can accept more than one at a time, but the requirements are usually, like, they're probably side missions and stuff like that. So, I'm gonna go take a look at it. I don't want to, um... Like I don't to want to, to accept a bunch, because this way I can read them out loud beforehand, unless I can ex accept all of them. How do you even do quests? Blood Parch. Maybe not? Alright, fine, we're just gonna take all of them. Yeah. Screw it. Okay, accept quest. Stealing specialist. Uh, thieves specialize in stealing. Uh, yes. Can you do this quest? Yes. Hunter in turn. Yes. I'm just gonna go through all of these. I don't even know. Oh. Hit R1. It tells you what to, you need to do. Oh, I see. So, to get... Okay. So, to get all of these, we just need to get random, uh, random things along the way. Okay. I'm not even gonna read these. I'll read them when I complete them. I'll, let's go. What? Go buy a ca what? Cafe Owl Light. Light. Okay, that's. I don't know where to get that one. Let's see. Go clear dried up wasteland again in one turn. Holy crap! Some of these are awesome. Oh, cannot accept any more quests. Well, that sucks.
Well, luckily most of the other ones that I haven't already uh, selected are kind of meaningless for the time being. Cool. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that too much. So we've got a bunch of side quests. Apparently, we just complete them by playing the game. Good. I like that. I, I hate when games force you to do, like, a bunch of side quests that aren't very fun. So we can do Practice Dude. What's this one? Okay, go back, defeat the last one. Let's see. What's this? Prepare clothes for this person? I already got a bunch of wrinkly clothes. I'll have to go find Mokoguso. Conclude quest. Oh, complete... And, a, and accept a quest and re receive your reward, reward. So we need to go get some, like, wrinkly clothes. Okay, what's this one? Right, it's not... There we go. Uh, kill five slumber cats. Fighter rank three. Mage rank three. Fighter brawler. Fighter mage. Fighter healer. Brawler two. And looks like we're good. So combat lecture is just... Dried up wasteland. That must be the next stage along the way. That That makes sense, at least. Okay. Where would you like to go, dude? Let's uh go on to the next mission. Shouldn't be a big problem. Uh, Blood Parch. I think it also doesn't lag so bad when we're in actual battles. Yeah, it looks much nicer when we're outside of the main zone. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, arid zone. Oh no, the one question quest is do dried up wasteland. Why do I have to go back and do the mission? I don't know. I do feel like a lot of the side missions I will just do outside of main story content. So, arid blood zone. Enter the stage. So these are the remnants of Blood Parch. Oh, is Otto off? Yep, it is. Even though it's what Sir Void Dark ordered, fighting all these pieces of crap is dulling my skills. Then, can I take you guys on? <laughs> Looks like there are still some who seek to oppose Demon Emperor Void Dark's elite forces. I'll give you a choice. Obey us or die. <laughs> I refuse to do both. What? <laughs> You're mistaken if you thought all demons would grovel at your feet, lost Cretan. As a matter of fact, you are the ones who will be groveling. All men are destined to serve the overlord of gorgeous, Serafina. All right, so looks like a lot of people. I'm not going to bother too much with throwing mechanics. Let's just go with the, let's actually go with the basic people for the time being. Let's send them out. Oh, right. I totally forgot to heal, didn't I? Whoops. Or get any SP back either. Oh, that's a problem. Ah, whatever. It's not like the mainliners are particularly let's injured. So I think, I think we'll be okay. Right, let's see. So let's execute that one. That doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but that should be okay. Cool. Uh, let's see. So we've got... Why don't we do Kilia? I don't think he can make it up here. He can get close. I'm just going to send him out. He'll just do a bunch of uh, combo attacks. Okay. And then Serafina should actually probably be able to shoot the dude on top of the box. Can't. Why not? Okay. Well, let's not do that then. Let's see if I can throw Killian closer to an enemy. Can I get him next to one? I can get him up there, but that seems like a risky behavior. So let's not do that. All right, let's just end turn. Note to self, go heal along the way. This is going to be meaningless. I don't think these guys are even going to be able to hit him or hurt him. All right, cool. So now, now we got the dude on the box, which he's probably not going to be able to hit. But he's going to be able to hit... I can be able to do really any damage, and I don't think you can attack diagonally in this game. We can totally hit the dude on the box, though. Yeah! Okay. So we'll just have kind of the goon platoon, the the weak guys run around taking out the the less uh, important enemies along the way here. Because they can actually get a good combo off at the same time. And I gotta remember, attack anything that I actually care about. Now, she can just attack in a line. Huh, interesting. Okay. Oh, that didn't do anything. 
I do like the the way the combo system works in this game, where the longer you attack something, the um, the longer your like com ow, the longer your combo meter goes. Okay, well, whatever. We did lose the mage. This, my hospital bill is going to be a little bit on the pricey side. Oh well, I kind of deserve it. So let's see. Do we just have demon dude up there? All right. Let's move her here. She should be able to toss uh, Killian to the top. Could be wrong though, but I think we're good. Or Kilia, not Killian. I don't know why I keep thinking that there's an N at the end of that. Hey, triple strike! Ba bam. The weapon, the weapon skills in this game Do just feels so good. Sick. Also, combo attacks. The more enemies you have piled around a dude, the uh, more damage you do to them. As like a cool special attack. I really dig it. All right. <laughs> I like that. I like the uh, the uh, heretic with the bandages. The person's just like, oh. I actually really wish that was a printy in the, all the bandages. There's also a guy with a just giant syringe stuck to his head. This is pretty nuts, but I love the level cl clear art. It's really well done. Okay, skip the demo. Hell no. Why does he even ask? Impossible. We, the lost, were defeated. Who are you? Could you be Red Magnus, the Overlord who has a bounty on his head? Quick! We have to call for reinforcements immediately! Red Magnus. They mistook me for someone else. D -d Did they say Red Magnus? Do you know him or something? Yes, I do. Just thinking about him is giving me a headache. Red Magnus is the overlord of Scorching Flame, known and feared for being violence incarnate. He is boorish, has absolutely zero tact, and has less intelligence than an orc. In fact, he's got the brain of a monkey. <laughs> you must really hate that guy. I do. The netherworlds of Scorching Flame and Gorgeous have been at each other's throats since my seven times great-grandfather's time. I have never had a pleasant experience whenever Red Magnus has gotten involved. I don't want to ever see that man again. But I have a bad feeling. The giant syringe is an actual weapon in past games? That's great. 